Now an update on a story we first told you about this weekend. A robbery in a Chicago jewelry store caught on surveillance video. One of the workers opened fire on the would-be robber, and police ended up taking both the worker and the robbery suspect into custody. CBS 2's Jermont Terry is always investigating. Joins us live now to explain what happened next. Jermont. Joe, tonight I've reached out to the person who fired the shots and others inside the jewelry store. No one wanted to talk on camera in a case a legal expert says is clear self-defense. Over the weekend, video shows this guy in red wandering the aisles of a jewelry store on Wabash. Watch as he gets closer to the door how he tries breaking a display case. And look to the left, an employee pulls out his gun and fires. The moment that person took an object and broke that glass, that person was committing a forcible felony. He was no longer walking around, checking the place out. And for that reason, CBS2 legal analyst Irv Miller says, under the law, the employee legally defended himself and the business, even though the suspected robber was leaving when he was shot. Illinois law is very specific as to what constitutes self-defense. The statute reads clearly, a person is justified in the use of force to prevent imminent death or commission of forcible felony. And forcible felony includes robbery, burglary. After getting shot, the suspected robber stumbles out the door. Watch how he circles back, picks up something he dropped before running up the CTA platform bleeding. The employee who fired has a concealed carry license and that protected him, according to Miller. If this person who did the firing didn't have a concealed carry, didn't have an FOIB card, that store owner, store employee, would have been charged with a weapons violation, a felony. Now, we checked again with Chicago police, and they tell us both the store clerk and the suspected robber have been released without any charges, but they admit that this investigation is ongoing. Reporting live along Jewelers Road tonight, Jermont Terry, CBS2 News. Jermont, thanks.